Today we discuss the Martin GPC-13E. Hey, James Shee here with Tarpley Music in Fort Worth, Texas. You can always find us online at tarpleymusic.com. And please uh, hit our subscribe button there if you haven't done so already. So today I've got a Martin Road Series. This is the GPC 13E. So GP is for Grand Performance, the body style of this guitar. Uh, very similar to kind of a Dreadnought, but it does have a little bit uh, more down here in the girth of it. It's really, really comfortable. Uh, the C being, of course, cutaway, and then the 13E for electric. It does have the Fishman MXT, which is just a, a volume here and an overall tone. Extremely convenient tuner that they have right on the bottom of the sound hole. So while you're playing, you can see it clear as day. Uh, one of my favorite things about these is just how long did it take to figure out to put the tuner right there where you're looking, right? <laughs> so really good thing Martin did there. Uh, full spruce top here. The back and sides are a fine Ziracote veneer. And do they look good? De la hoo ish <laughs> So beautiful. Uh, what a great grain here that it has. And of course, uh, Ziracote being, it's going to be, every guitar you get is going to, the back is going to be different. So this is not, this just happens to be this one. It's got this cool, almost like a skunk stripe kind of going there. Uh, I love it. Of course, um, you have uh, the Rich Light bridge and the fretboard. And the Rich Light is a material uh, they've been using a lot. It's a synthetic-based kind of material, but it does have some of the properties of wood. They've been using it a lot for uh, their bridges and their fretboards kind of in a wood preservation kind of a thing. But uh, even a lot of luthiers uh, will say that, yeah, you know, it, putting frets in and stuff, it, it, it feels like you're working with wood. So a very cool thing there. And they have a select wood uh, for whatever their neck is. So it's whatever good strong wood they have that's at the most available at the time. So they're really trying to part of that preservation thing of of tone woods for guitars and, and such. Uh, so it's a 16 inch radius. So nice flat surface, 20 frets. Uh, the nut is a white Corian nut, and then we have a compensated uh, tusk uh, here. So tusk, very strong. Uh, it's pretty easy to work with, and so it's real commonly used by a lot of guitar makers now. So overall, just a very good, durable uh, guitar, and I think that whole performer aspect of it and the Road series, it makes sense. It's a workhorse, right? So you're not breaking the bank. You're getting this beautiful uh, looking wood, this this back, nice, right, great sound to it. You got the spruce top you need. The pickups are perfect for the gigging guy, the workhorse. And so I think it nails that. So we're going to listen to it a few different ways. Uh, of course, we'll listen to it direct. We're going to mic it several different ways so you can kind of get a good feel for what it might be like through a PA system or if you're just recording at home. So how we have it going in is just going right into an onstage DB500. It's just a passive direct box right into the interface. So if you're to get home, hey, I got a song idea, plug right into the interface. Boom, this is what you're going to get. This is the tone. And uh, I've got the volume and the tone knob are all the way open. So the first way I have it mic'd up today is with the Sennheiser E906. Now this is a dynamic mic, uh, not as commonly used for acoustic guitars as condenser, but you can get a really cool sound out of it. Um, we've actually got a video of a lot of great beginning uh, tips for miking acoustic guitars right here uh, if you want to check out that video. Um, but basically it's about six, seven inches away and I've got it kind of towards the 12th, uh, 14th fret. So sometimes when I'm recording with just a single mic, I always put in the direct um, signal as well. And sometimes I will actually use it. So we're going to fade that direct signal back in from the guitar and you're going to get the combination of both.
All right, so I'm doing another single mic technique. This is with a large diaphragm condenser. So probably the most popular way uh, to record an acoustic guitar, especially at home. This is a AKG C214, a uh, great mic. It's just about the same as the dynamic mic. It's about six or seven inches away, and I've got it slightly turned into about the 14th fret. So like we did with the dynamic mic, I still have the direct signal going in there. We're going to turn that back up and get a blend of both. Um, it's kind of hit or miss whether I'll use it or not, but it's always great to record and have it there. You can always take it out if you don't. So here's the blend of both. All right, so the last way I have them mic'd is with a two small diaphragm condenser mic setup known as the XY pattern. And what it is is you just have them, the capsules are uh, at a 90 degree angle like this touching each other. And then I've got it slightly panned about 35 on each side. And it gives a really good mid range of kind of the fifth fret to the saddle of the guitar. Uh, this is a real common way also of miking. Uh, it's one I use a lot at home, but it's a really great kind of a full, full sound. All right, so we've heard the guitar mic'd up and direct on its own. Let's hear what it sounds like with some other tracks. All right, hit it, boys. So the Road Series, Martin GPC-13E. Um, this is a killer workhorse guitar. I really think that that is the main market that I would think of. I uh, really enjoyed playing it. It was very little maintenance, took it off the wall, fine-tuned it a little bit, was ready to go. Intonation was perfect. Uh, it feels really good. Still a 25.4 scale length, so it's um, it, it just very comfortable. And then we got this rich light fretboard and then the rich light bridge, so very durable. And I think this is really geared towards that. You're not breaking the bank. You're not spending three grand on a guitar. You're afraid to take out on the road, afraid to take on stage. Um, this can get beat up a little bit, and uh, but and it can withhold that. It's meant to, and it just plays and sounds really great. It sounds really great direct. It sounds really great mic'd up, combination of both. It sounds really good with other instruments. And so if you're looking to upgrade into maybe, you know, you're starting to gig a whole lot and you want to kind of upgrade your guitar, and get something that is not breaking the bank but very pro level then i think this is one to look at um the uh, gpc um, 13e uh, any of the road series by martin so if you get a chance uh come down to tarpley take it off the wall and there of course there are some other models that we have here as well and i hope you learned something about this really cool guitar uh in the road series by martin uh, make sure you hit like if you did enjoy the video and of course subscribe to the subscribe button if you haven't done so already and if you would like uh, to be notified as we drop more videos because we drop videos every single week make sure you turn on notifications and we'll see you on the next one